previously on the season. In terms of your footy on the field? I think there's still a lot of things I need to improve on. Have you got a $20 note? You've got to hit it on the full. My money's safe. Some of us are getting a little bit frustrated. My mum wants me to grab a photo oh, if no. you want it. No, no. Boys, we've had an awesome preparation, I reckon, on and off the field. OK, it's the best I've seen. Take it out on the field. The GPS Rugby Premiership is only 40 minutes old, and BBC wastes no time in stamping their authority on the game. In 10 minutes, they're out of this game, boys. Simple. Yep. Simple, yeah. Give it, George. Good boy. Go, Lucas. Yeah, they're starting to play catch-up rugby, so we can uh, start to really, really nail it now. The visitors dominate the opening stanza with a furious assault on the churchy try line. Yes, Mason. Yeah. Hey. Keep it up, eh? Let's look at uh, thinking about 10 minutes, five minutes from now, uh, reserves and, and uh, resting some of the big boys. With the result in no doubt, Shane Dram uses the depth on his bench to gain valuable playing time for his reserves. Here you go. <laughs> look at a smile on his face. Well done, bro. Oh, Huge. Great stuff, mate. Gave up. How many changes have we made? Five. Oh, good point. Uh, one, two. And to safeguard his playing ranks, no matter how they come off the field. Yeah. What was that for? It's not even me. It's for the flip tackle. Ask how how he is. Honest answer. You 100%? Um, thing I just said just to check on you to see if you're all good. Bo, quickly get up to Howie and say positive. Look positive. Don't look disappointed. No, you didn't, mate. You're good. You're good. Howie, head up, mate. You've played five games in a week. Mate, you've done well. But I don't want you to be disappointed. I'm happy with you. That's all that matters. All right? So, oi, keep your head up. I want you to smile, because that's important. Oh, you had a really good game, eh? Like, I know you haven't been here for a while, but, like, first game back, mate, you can't expect, you can't expect to be perfect, eh? How's the ankle? Well done, Jakey. So How are you? Oh, yeah, it's fine. What's up, boys? Played well, back. Fantastic effort. Okay, as coaches, you get a bit nervous. I know I was pretty nervous before this one. You, you know, we've had a few interruptions leading up to it. We executed, you know, 90% of the time, which is very rare for a full game. Let's make sure, okay, we don't get ahead of ourselves, though. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, coach! coach. Yeah! yeah. It's a dream start, and there is a palatable sense of relief that the pre-season is over and the campaign is underway. But a watchful eye is being cast over two other GPS favourites as they do battle in round one. But the schedule moves quickly, and BBC must now look ahead to round two. Quick march. What do you do after this part? Um, wait, I'll have a look at mine. Hey miss, so I've got all the letters. You know how you had to do, I've got it for each broker. So what I do now, I Have think you got it, any of the calculations? No, that's what I had to ask you about. Okay, our oh, length, all right. Yeah. So go down and put equals and, yep. and write the word average and... Thanks largely to the full and plentiful schedule of a BBC student, the boys are quickly immersed into a school experience 
anchored in academia. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, count. Yep, and then comma, and then two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. that's a question mark, sorry. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, that's not a divide button. Isn't it? Oh, jokes. No, oh, what the heck's going on now? <laughs> There's a problem. No way, I think we've done this wrong. I think you've done this wrong. Is it as soon as we handed it out? <laughs> oh, you're supposed to have this, Jaywalk. See how the letters? So, delete that whole row again. Hey, delete, delete everything, delete everything. Just and sometimes, arithmetic can be as tough as any pre-season fitness program. And then you go from A to your last letter. Do I have to work this out or the, can the computer do it for me? Tell me number? what the biggest number is. 35.5. 37, 38. <laughs> now, well, I was looking at the top. Now equals. So that's the formula for Excel, and you yeah. can type. Now write the word average. First 15 captain or not, the school prioritises a big picture approach when it comes to the growth and development of its students. We are a school first. Their academic endeavours is obviously high up on what the priorities are. We want them to go away with a set of values that we try to explicitly teach. Uh, through not only the academic program, our pastoral program and our sports and activities. So we're influencing them uh, across a, a range of values. What we're here to do is to help boys to grow. We're really preparing boys for their future and an unknown future at that. So we need to give those boys all those skills and the foundational knowledge that they'll be successful adults, happy, lead flourishing lives, build great relationships and be fantastic members of the community. One life skill that student athletes often have to fast track to maturity is patience. Okay, so we'll go to the second goalpost. So yeah. Connor Claridge's ankle injury is improving, but it's a waiting game. Just walk back. We did two sets, two sets yesterday, didn't we? Of what? It was only, it was only... And a tenacious rehabilitation is almost complete. It was a high ankle sprain on the back of an already weak ankle from a previous injury, so he has been in a moon boot. Let's do two sets of six of that, because that'll be more volume than you did yesterday. Yeah. I'll go again. I reckon leave your shoe on for a while so you yeah, can get a bit of movement back in. The way things are tracking, I think most of our injured guys, they'll come back together pretty much at the same time, round five, so that's pretty good. We'll have a really big selection of players, I guess, and then every position will be out for grabs. Oh. Missed again. No one's safe in their spot once all these guys come back, so that'll be good. Put some pressure on the guys that have been playing, keep them all accountable and working hard. Nice, Byron. Get out, Taj. Is that five or six? That was six. All right, have five a rest. Break, yeah. yeah, have a rest for a minute and then we'll go again. Let's go. Come on, refocus. Crouch. Bind. Set. It's it. Good. Reset, 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 reset. With round two approaching, one stalwart member of the BBC coaching tree is embarking on his 30th season with the BBC rugby program. All right, Jimmy, you got to call it. You're the captain of the scrum. Front row on, second row in. I've been privileged to be part of the staff here at school since 1990, um, when I came in as a pretty young teacher. Um, always had a passion for rugby, uh, either coaching, um, and as I say, last seven years I've been director of rugby. Um, but we just want to do two scrums each, rotate through, about one minute warm up, two minutes work and we're done. My passion is making sure that every boy is engaged in the program um, and that uh, coaches are well equipped and resourced um, in their roles so that we're delivering a really good program. I'm privileged to be able to be part of the first 15 and I, I do still consider that a privilege uh, even after all these years. Shane uh, has allowed me to be part of that, that uh, coaching team so I look after the forwards. Oh, yeah. You've got to go into tight end to start with. See how I'm happy to rebuild it. It's all about creating a, a wonderful experience for the boys. Some of them will go on uh, to the highest level, and, and I've been uh, privileged to see a number of those boys journey through from grade five in some instances, like James Hall, all the way through to captaining the country. But you know, I, I celebrate equally as much the, the journeyman, the guy who plays C's and D's and thirds. Stephen Philpotts has presided over many BBC teams but considers this year's side to be one of great potential. I think we've got threats across the whole field, so there, there are genuine players in every, every position. Uh, and the depth, you know, the, the second group of boys behind them that are pushing them on, driving them to be better. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, five, six. Hey Dad, how are you? Oh, not much, I'm just, we just had dinner. And um, just in my room now. 
I, I spoke at the junior school assembly this morning and um, they're, all, they're all coming. We'll have the swarm of water boys again. <laughs> he's, he's hitting them well at training, actually. Pre-game rituals are often born out of superstition. Others are anchored in tradition. If we, get, if we need them. Is, there, is everything all good at home? For Captain Jacob Blyton, it is more about courtesy. Connor's coming here. Oh, awesome. A chat with Dad on the night before the game. Right, I'll let you get back to work. I'll see you tomorrow, hey? Yeah, everything's all good. It's all good. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, love you. See ya. Bye. Give me, give me a little bit. Okay, I haven't had any yet, so you want done. Good. Well, wait, what flavor? Oh, wow. For others, rituals can be more calorie dense. The pre-game ritual, hey? What is it? Just eat Just it. Eat it. Just it taste. Good. Get in here. Okay, all right, I'm eating it. Mm. This is so much more creative. Mm. Oh, exciting, if you will. I feel like it's going to be a game where we don't score. Like no one scores for ages. They're the best game. I swear to God, if it comes down to like a kick or something. What if it comes down to a line out, like twenty meters out, and we're going to maul? Want some more, Mason? Yeah, good. You're going to get me. Just, maybe just a little. Huh? Maybe just a little. I uh, said no. Best pre-game ritual I know. I actually look forward to it every day. <laughs> every day it goes on. I look forward to Friday night ice cream. Mr. Lessim's all good? Yeah, all good. Sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Boys, prep's on. Your favourite time, Ben, isn't it? Yep. Jace, let's go. For me, when I take around parents, or new parents especially, I don't say, welcome to the boarding house, I say, welcome to the boarding family. Nick, you guys going down to prep? Yeah. Okay, let's go, fellas. What are you doing tonight? Uh, a bit of math. Beautiful. Well, Miss Gerwich is downstairs. Uh, yep. Okay, right. thanks. We've got boys from Dubai, Bahrain, even boys from Baden, only 10 minutes away, and we are a family. We have a roller coaster ride of ups and downs like any other family. So it's really about knowing the backstories of these boys because relationships here for me is the most important thing. Knowing that a boy's been up in Northern Territory and come back and caught in Barramundi this big. And that's the best thing about this job. Can I go to Voluntary Chapel and come back up here and pack my bags? Uh, after prep. Mum's gonna be like, Oh yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 because you're going on leave, aren't you? Yeah. And then you're back. Where? And I walk around the dorms, eight o'clock. I tell the boys I do that because I want to know about the vibe of the day and you get to know what the boys are going through, the highs, the lows, and that is the journey of being a director of boarding. And mum, dad, they were proud yeah. of you at assembly today? Yeah, got a few photos. Wow, okay, fantastic. Okay, Sammy, I'll see you down there. Yeah, that's the type of boy we love here at BBC. Now you guys have got international prep. <laughs> Henry, you got international prep? <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's all good. <laughs> More than half of this year's team are boarders and their routines and schedule are specifically planned so there is adequate time to rest, recover and study. So that's the constant outside and you've got right. your function. Yep. 
they have a session after dinner to do their homework. I have regulars and they come in every week and I get on to them with maths, English and science. They're always friendly and always polite and um, I'm going to go watch them on Saturday to see how they go. Like You always see the back of a Macca's till, but I've never seen the front. Yeah. So. <laughs> like you always... Yes. yes. They all get serious about their study too, so they realise that they're not just here for rugby, they're also here for their education. A has no predecessor, yep. so then, then it becomes a question like the one in your text. The proximity strengthens the bonds between each boy and assists in forging a culture of togetherness that is unique to a boarding community. If one boy doesn't get up, the other guy wakes him up, no, we've got training on this morning, come on, we are a team, we have to act together and help one another. They are family and they'll do anything to help each other. So it's all about being there for each other. Does it look too scrappy? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I was the only one who had no blisters. Nothing. While one brains trust signs off for the night, across the other side of the school, another one clocks in. Sorry for the short notice, but it's just we've got four weeks of craziness coming in. So key to all of this around, obviously, is making sure we've got all of the plans in place. It's going to be around staff. Harvey guests Tom Taylor, Gus Hedberg, Archie Brummel and Lockie McMillan, who are yeah. all experienced in food serving. Have you got the patty burger going again? Or are we still in the... Who are you sourcing from the butcher? Tonight's meeting is we've got to provide game-based support to the BBC uh, rugby community. That involves organising a lot of volunteers and making sure that the venue is catered for and hopefully everybody has a really, really good day. We've got to just be, try and be as prepared as possible for this week's home game. Just wanted to go through quite a bit of stuff to make sure that we're dotting I's and crossing T's and making sure that really just not big on going down the stressful road that we were in last year. You do want to make it the best possible day it can be. And you do want to help good people. Um, and we have some very good people on our support group. The primary role is to support the director of rugby so that he can focus on doing rugby stuff and we can focus on doing volunteer stuff. That's nine dollars. You are Wendy. Well, let me get you an apron. Here we go. Let me anoint you as a support crew. I'll fix it up at the back for you. The best thing about the role is obviously that you do get to meet a lot more people and you do get to meet some people that you traditionally wouldn't meet. Hello, how are we doing? Thank you all very much for helping. Massive help having everyone on board. This is what GPS for me is all about. I just love the tunnel, I love the, I love the smells, I love the laughter. Come on, boys! You know, I've been here since seven o'clock this morning and won't go home till probably six o'clock tonight, but that to me is like a really good day's work, so it's, it's fun. Three teams top the GPS ladder after two rounds, with BBC in pole position. The first home game of the year brings with it a different energy. With friends, family and old boys making up the audience, there is little need for motivation. How is it, Howie? Yeah, it's fine. I think it's, my legs just feel real heavy at the moment, but... Okay, I'm fine. Can you monitor yeah. him? Yep. Just go, you just worry about Just play without him for now. I told him to warm up. Yeah, he's good, he's ready. Can you get shorts and socks for Jack, boy? Is he up? Don't know yet. Is he? Howie. If you can just get Jack ready just in case. What do you reckon? We don't want to risk him with a hamstring. That looks alright. I know, but he's feeling it. It's the... Get boy ready. So fast twitch, that's a problem. It's bang, he's all explosive. Well, is he ready? He looks ready. I want to fix last week's little dip after 15 minutes, yeah? Let's concentrate for the whole 35 for the first half. Think about the last week, okay, our last game. And we've spoken about lifting at a level now. Okay, and that's about our own expectations on each other and on ourselves. The other thing is we're at our home. We make this a fortress, and so no guy is going to come here and beat us on our own pitch. No one's going to come here and out and thuze us, are they? Okay, cannot let them out and thuze us on our home pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six.
Now get up, now get up. Side on restart, get up. It has been six long days in between games, and boys college start like they mean to finish, with all out attack. Well at that stage we got a few, few games under the belt, pretty convincing games. Week before we didn't really play our best against Gregory Terrace, but at that point in the season, it was really just trying to get get things ready for the next few games. Um, although we didn't take grammar lightly, it was it was pretty important for us to get over grammar. Oh, I think we were lucky that being our first home game. I think that really impacted our performance. Obviously, we're going to rise for our first home game to put on a, a show for the supporters. But I think you've got to take every single game really seriously. Uh, there's only eight, and uh, half the team were, were in year 12, so it's our last year of footy, so really got to make sure every single game counts. Well earned. Keep the patience now. Jacob, patience. Let's go. Next job, yeah? Good work, boys. Let's just make sure we keep our patience here. Good work, guys. Be patient. Stevie. 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 It's pocket dialing there. Go, 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 Jimmy, go. Go, boys, go! In the side! Yeah. Yeah. In a dominant first quarter, BBC maintained a relentless hold on territory and possession, resisting the urge to take the foot off the pedal. You can't take any team for granted. Uh, that's that's a part of the special thing about the GPS is it's eight grand finals. So when we come up against a team like Grammar, uh, it was really important to still play, play to our 100% and play to our structures. Uh, we had a few hard games coming up after that, so it was really important that we we put everything into practice and we executed well. We don't need a play to the Howie with his injury like that. He's not 100 confident a couple of times, like he's throwing that work around Lucas more. Go Howie, move Howie! Oh! Grandma a valiant, but the boys from Tawong are justifying their tag of favourites for the title with some impressive offence and dogged defence. But this is only round three and the season will have many challenges ahead. Next time on The Season. Well, you guys have all worked really, really hard. I'm very appreciative of what we've been able to achieve so far. What you've done is brought the whole offence closer to them. Has everyone done everything? So that's a no. All right. We're going to soak up the heat better than they will. Get on, get them back to halfway. Yep. Tell them to start being patient. For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.